Hi guys, Crochet and Connect here. Welcome to another Finished Item Friday. Um, I only have a couple of items to show you this week, um, but first of all, um, I know I mentioned a couple of weeks ago that I was planning to make an Amigurumi um, Jake the Dog from the show Adventure Time for my brother-in-law, uh, but my husband was speaking to his mother on the phone um, last week, and his family has decided that we're not going to do gifts for the adults anymore. Um, it's just going to be for his nephews, just the little kids. Um, so that's actually really helpful because I'm really behind on my Christmas crochet, so not having to do that was really helpful. So I'm not going to do that, um, although I already have the yarn for it, so I might save it and do it for his birthday, which isn't until August. But um, So I'm not going to be doing that anytime soon, so I just thought I'd mention that. Um, the first thing I have to show this week is I actually redid the um, Iron Man fingerless gloves because I was not happy with how they turned out before. Um, I mentioned before that I was having trouble with the sizing and um, the original pattern was single crochet and to get the right sizing I switched to um, half double crochet but I wasn't pleased with how it came out. It was just really large and chunky and I preferred the look of the single crochet in the pattern picture. So I redid them in single crochet and they are quite a bit smaller, uh, but I think they look a lot nicer. Um, and um, I did wash them and block them and try to get them like big enough. Um, my husband can like just squeeze them on, and the friend that I'm going to give them to um, is a bit of a smaller build than my husband, so I'm hoping his hands are a bit smaller and will be able to fit into them all right. Um, and also, um, I made. The, old, the first pair with um, gold instead of yellow because I forgot that I actually had yellow in my stash and I used gold instead. But the yellow is actually more accurate and I think it looks a lot nicer. So that was another reason I wanted to redo them. And also the, um, the power circles on the other ones um, were too like big and lumpy and they're supposed to be like flat. Um, I don't know how that happened. And so I wasn't pleased with how those came out. And also the pattern called for them to be blue, but in both the Iron Man movies and in the comic books, at least the comic books my husband has, um, they are not blue. They're either white or, um, like when they're, when they're on and glowing, they're either white or yellow. And when they're not on and glowing, they're just red to, to camouflage into the rest of the hand. So I don't know where this person got blue from, but I didn't like that either, so I changed the color to be a little more comic book accurate. Um, so yeah, they turned out pretty cute. I like them. I'm more pleased with this version than the old version. I just really hope they fit our friend. Um, so there's that. Um, and the second thing I did was I made um, an Amigurumi Beagle. I hope you can see the whole thing. I don't know if I'm getting it all in frame there. Um, this is going to be um, part of a Christmas gift for a good friend of mine who is a dog handler. And she shows her own dogs and she's also hired by other people to show their dogs. And um, her one of her favorite breeds is the Beagle. And she's had um, three different Beagles in her life and she doesn't have many Beagles right now because they've all gotten old and passed as dogs do. Um, and she has um, some bigger dog breeds now, and so she doesn't have any beagles right now. And um, she's always talking about how she misses having beagles, so I thought it would be nice to make her one. Um, I think it turned out pretty good for the most part. It's definitely a beagle body, and I like how the, the legs are. Um, this is like a kind of like a nice dog show stance he's standing in here. Um, but the face, I had so much trouble with the face. Um, I don't, I'm not pleased with how the face turned out, but I don't have time to redo it, so that's how it's going to stay. But, um, in the pattern picture, the, um, the face looked like, it looked like a real beagle face, but somehow my muzzle just did not turn out right. I was having so much trouble with the muzzle, it took me like two days just to do the muzzle. I have no idea why I was having so much trouble with it, and it does not look anywhere near as nice as the pattern picture. Um, and then the nose is crooked and, and like the nose and eyes are embroidered and that was like my first, um, try at embroidering. Um, 
I knew it wouldn't turn out very good and I was planning on doing um, um, either plastic nose and eyes or felt nose and eyes but neither of those looked quite right with it so I just bit the bullet and embroidered them and they don't look very nice but <laughs> I mean I think they're pretty decent for a first try um, but yeah I think it turned out pretty decent I'm sure she'll like it she's liked um, lots of other things that I've crocheted her before so I'm pretty sure she'll like this and it's so cute I love the little beagle body I want to keep it but I can't I have to give it to her and I really don't want to make another one because this was such a pain in the butt to make because um, like every little thing is made separately and sewn on like um, you have to make the snout and then the jowls and then the eyebrows and then the ears and like sew everything on and then the head and the neck were separate and had to be sewn on the legs and the feet were separate and had to be sewn together and then you have to sew the legs onto the body it was it was a pain in the butt uh, but it turned out really nice so um kind of pleased with it except for the face um but yeah i like it and unfortunately there's a lot of stuffing leaking out of it but that's okay um, so this pattern I can't exactly share because this was a pay pattern I bought from an Etsy shop. Um, it was just under $3, I think, so it wasn't too expensive. Um, I can share the link to the Etsy shop down below. This shop also has, um, a bunch of other patterns for other dog breeds and they all look so cute and, like, they, they look really realistic. Mine doesn't. But, um, the, the pictures on the Etsy shop, like, they, the, the, the animals look really realistic, as realistic as yarn can look anyway. Um, so if you're good at crocheting Amigurumi, yours will turn out really good. Mine did not. <laughs> um, but they have a really good selection of a lot of really nice dog breeds. And they also have a handful of other animals. Like I seem to recall seeing like a horse and a llama and a tiger and a chipmunk. And there's just a handful of other animals, but it's mostly dogs. Um, and they're all so nice and I want to make them all, but if they're as much of a pain in the ass as that one was, <laughs> then um, I think I'll pass. But anyway, so I'll share that down below in case anybody's interested. And um, I believe that's all I have to share this week. Uh, I'm not sure when I'm going to have another finished item video up because um, the next things I need to make are a couple of afghans. I don't know if I'm going to get them done by Christmas. Um, but I'm going to try to sit and crochet for hours every day. And try to get them done um, but afghans take a while obviously so I'm not going to have a completed one to show for a while so I don't know when my next um, video is going to be I might do a progress video uh, but I don't know when my next um, finished item video is going to be so um, yeah so I'm going to go get started on um, the first afghan I need to make right now so um, until next time happy crochet